Hello guys, how you doing? So today I'm going to show you how to unlock a Android phone on AT&T. The phone we're going to unlock is this one. This is the HTC created for Facebook specifically. The first thing you need to do guys is you need to get the IMEI number of the phone and how you get it, you're going to go to settings and look for about the phone and check for status. And from here, you're going to see the IMEI number. And here we're going to type guys, AT&T unlock search and usually the first result is going to be the one we need and this is the AT&T device unlock portal okay so here we're going to click on this that says unlock a device you're going to click on it all right and for here guys you're going to fill out the information are you an AT&T wireless customer no I mean if you are you put yes whatever so IMEI number yes so remember we got it from here right three five three three one three zero five zero three zero zero three four two now if you scroll down you're gonna see that the website already identify the device as an HTC PM 33100 please double check because you don't want to input a wrong IMEI number and again it identified the device I'm gonna select this I'm not a bot and buses I see one verify okay and then here I'm gonna click on yes okay if you want to read about that we click on it and we're gonna read about it basically is your device isn't reported lost or stolen or involved in fraud you must complete your contract or installment plan okay so it's not like you go to AT&T you get a free phone and then you want to unlock it no you need to fulfill your contract all right your device isn't active on another AT&T account if you are great early wait 14 days to unlock your old device AT&T prepay you need to have six months of service stuff that we are looking right now so we close it and we're gonna click next okay they're gonna ask for first name so we're gonna put a um, uh, John last name why don't we put though uh, mobile number we don't have email address my email better call me goodman at gmail.com email again you cannot copy and paste it so all right better we really call me good man yes on emails it doesn't matter if it's lowercase or uppercase it's always lowercase for the computer so make sure that you are inputting your right email because you're gonna get a call here what's next we'll send you a link to confirm your unlock request use it within 24 hours or we need to cancel your request so basically as soon as I press submit they're gonna send me an email and I need to confirm that email okay so there's gonna be a link on that email thanks we are email you a link okay check your spam folder sometimes you go to spam and the link is good for 24 hours and they're gonna give you a request number all right so now we need to access our email and once you're here there's a link it says confirm okay so you're just gonna click on it and that's gonna confirm your request this is not unlocking your device it's just confirming the request that you make to AT&T and you should get a message saying thank you for confirming okay your unlock request and they're gonna give you a request number all right so what I like to do guys is I like to copy this request number right away and I go out, I want to go to this other link that says check your request status online so you click on it and you're gonna type it the request that we copy it we're gonna type it here paste and we're gonna go to our email to get the IMEI number. Okay, we're gonna copy it and we're gonna go back to AT&T and we're gonna paste the IMEI number right here, right? Okay, good, so we have the IMEI number and we have the request number. We're gonna click on the, we're not a bot. And of course, they're gonna ask you some silly stuff. Traffic lights, this one, this one, this one. That's it. Okay, so everything's set up and I'm just gonna click submit. Again, guys, this is just to see what's going on with my request. And it says, check your unlock status, current status in progress. Okay, so this is a good sign, guys. This is, and they, they give you all the information here when you request it and everything. Current status in progress. So that means that the request is on their system and everything is fine. We just have to wait until they send us an email saying that the phone is already unlocked. Sometimes the email is right away. Sometimes it takes a while. But that's it, guys. When they send an email, in this case, they're going to send me an unlock code. 
because this phone requires an unlock code to be unlocked. But in the case of the iPhones, they don't send you an unlock code. They just release it from their database. Again, it can take up to 24 hours. You can get an email like this with your unlock code. And then what you need to do is you need to put a SIM card from another carrier on your phone and input the unlock code. And that's it, guys. That's how you unlock a phone for free. It's not guaranteed that it's going to work. It's only if you meet the requirements. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, guys. And uh, don't forget to click on that bell because that's how you're going to get notifications when I upload a new video, new content for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions in your comments. Let me know what kind of video you want me to do next time. Thank you so much, and i see you soon. Bye. Peace.